This right here is the Amazon Fire TV and remote. You connect it to power, HDMI, the internet running to your router. It has Wi-Fi if you don't want to directly connect. This right here is a USB stick because I have a wireless keyboard connected for uh, easier searching on the box. This right here is the Amazon Fire TV home screen. All you do is go to Recent, click on Classic TV, and that boots up Cody. One Channel, Genesis, and iStream are all movies and TV shows. Um, Genesis and iStream are the best. Click on iStream. Go over and click Movies. You can search yourself with the on-screen keyboard or connect the keyboard like I did. Featured, that's newer stuff. Stuff in theater, stuff on DVD. You can go to the next page and so on. When a movie hits the front of the list, it's either a newer movie or it's got upgrading quality. So you'll see the same movie pop up to the front of the list a few times. It will go from a bootleg quality to a screener, which is a DVD quality with Chinese subtitles. And about a month before it hits DVD, you'll start getting like HD links, crystal clear. So all you do is you, you can hit settings on the remote, it's the three lines. You can go down, play the trailer or you can just click on the movie. I'll pause it while it loads the links. All right, the links are downloading. All you do is you pick a link. If it doesn't work, you try the next one. Um, I really don't care for a movie for you. I like Prime Wire, Ice Films. If you stop the movie and you pick a different link, it's gonna remember where you left off. It will ask you to resume or start from the beginning. Just like that. We'll click resume. Click enter on the remote, you can go over and stop it. TV shows, click on most popular, it's got every show you can think of. As soon as the show airs, it's on here Then within a few hours to the next morning. So you got all the current episodes of Walking Dead, Game of Thrones. It's got every show you can think of. No more waiting for new shows and new episodes like Netflix. If you hit the settings button on the remote, that three line button, you can subscribe to the show. What that does is it just puts it in the subscriptions folder. So that way you don't have to keep searching for your favorite shows. It's got like a little favorites list. NBA, NHL, MLB, those were all past games. If you missed one, it's under there. Phoenix. There's a couple different people under Phoenix that got different TV shows, movies. Phoenix TV. Go to Sports. That's where the pay-per-view fights. Past pay-per-view, boxing, WWE, it's all going to be listed right there. Live sports. That's going to boot up Sports Devil. Click on Live Sports. All these are different sites. My favorite sites, though, are going to be listed right below. You click down. These two right here are the best sites under Sports Devil. Click on ATD. 
Baseball right now is in preseason, so there's only going to be one link per game, and the quality is going to be okay. Commercial break. Every single game. UFC fights will be under here. Boxing, WWE. Brooklyn Nets at the Cavaliers. There's two different links. Also, it's got NBC Sports Live. Any game that's on NBC will be on here live in crystal clear HD. Rangers at Blackhawks are on right now. Live TV. This is one app. Uh, with live TV, the channels go up, they go down. Majority of the time they do work, but they do go down once in a while. On the TV. If you go down to the menu below, there's three more TV things here. Four. That's live TV. If you click on video add ons, couple cartoon things. It's got different cartoons under there. These are all add-ons on the main screen. Sports Access is a paid sports channel. It's the only thing on here you would have to pay for. You just go to his website, you pay him like 12 bucks a month, and you'll get every game in HD if you really have to have HD games. I'll show you some live TV working. can't imagine your kid going through it. What do you tell her? It's not full screen. All you do is go to hit enter. Go over to the eye, hit enter. You're just going to change the view mode to 16.9 and then you hit the back button. We'll bring it full screen for you. And that's it. If you're not a fan of any of these teams, I can take them off the main screen. It's no problem. Thank you.